uh, today we are doing a crocus lawn here in our lawn. Uh, so what I have here is about 200 crocus. Uh, let's see what they look like. So here's the package. Actually, well, I'll, I'll say some of the packages because actually it was uh, multiple packages and these are pretty cool because it's a mix. Uh, and I ended up getting these at Home Depot. Believe it or not, Home Depot. Uh, they were on clearance, half off. Uh, here they are. Uh, I figure I'll plant these for now and then if I like them, how they turn out, uh, we'll do more. So here they are in the box, ready to plant. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, get started. All right, so I had already started uh, basically laying out the, the cuts in the grass. Uh, as you can see here, the, there you, what you do is you cut out some like H's or, or capital I's. Um, and then what you do is you basically pull back that grass and then you plant them there. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you how that's done. All right, so as I said, I started some of this already. What you do is you peel the grass back like this. Yeah, go back. And it's really cool to use like a spade like this. Small square shovel makes it a lot easier. Uh, to use that pointing shovel, what it does is it tends to make a big gouge in there. You can see that? Nice and pull back. Look at that. It's a great planting bed. setting the bulbs in uh, as you can see here what we're trying to do is put them uh, pointy side up that's where the plant and the flowers are going to grow from uh, flat side down uh, now in some cases with like bulbs like this you really don't have to uh, be totally perfect about it uh, but we just probably do it you know to give them a, give them a head start but yeah you lay them down lay them in and then we'll go ahead and cover them up. All right, so uh, here they are. Now that we're done laying them in, uh, what we'll start doing is we'll start covering them, but uh, let me just give you a really quick look first. Uh, I think this might be close to 100 maybe, I don't know. Yeah, but they're all laid in there, ready to be closed up, and we'll start closing them up. And what you really do is you really just fold the grass back over. Uh, you gently tuck it in because you know um, you want it to sit nice and tight. That way the, the lawn heels back up. And that one there kind of chunked out a little bit. To help out with this thing. What I'll do is I'm just going to help uh, my wife here just push them. I'm just going to help push these in. She's she's pretty much the pro at putting these back together like like a puzzle. I think she was good at puzzles when she was a kid or something. Yeah, look at that. It's basically, it's kind of like you're stitching. Or I guess you're just putting back together the grass. Not necessarily stitching, but it looks like stitches on the grass. 
So yeah, you just basically fold it all back in. Uh, All right, so here's what the end result looks like. Um, I mean, some folks might say that, oh, that makes the grass look ugly. Um, but you know, it actually hasn't settled back in. The grass will fix itself. All these uh, cuts will uh, heal themselves back up. Then you'll have the crocus uh, growing through the lawn. Uh, looks like we have a few more left. So we're gonna do another little patch. Okay, so it's getting kind of late. Um, I did do another patch here of maybe, I don't know, maybe close to 60, maybe 50. And one other patch right next to this patch. So that's it. Uh, now we just wait for the spring. Um, might just go ahead and get the water hose, water these in a little bit. 